I'm Coach Diana, and today we'll be coaching an athlete through the back squat. So first and foremost, you want to make sure that that barbell is below the athlete's shoulder so that they can easily walk up to the bar, de-rack, and re-rack without difficulty. So what I'm going to have the athlete do is step underneath the bar, racking that barbell along the upper traps, so not touching the neck, but on the high upper back. The thumbs are going to be as close to the shoulders as the athlete can endure comfortably. The core is going to be braced nice and tight, again taking a nice full deep breath to protect that neutral spine with the heels in line with the hips and shoulders. From there, we'll keep the athlete to stand up nice and tall and take a few steps back from the rack. The foot placement is gonna be slightly wider than hip width apart with the toes angled slightly outward, about 45 degrees. Keeping the core tight and those elbows pointed directly towards the floor, we're gonna have the athlete descent for one second down and one second up, pushing into the earth to drive on the way up, squeezing the glutes at the top. So go for it, drop it for one second, nice job. Biggest thing, and a common mistake, is some athletes, go ahead and demo, I want you to drop into a squat and lift your heels. A common mistake is athletes will have their heels rising in their back squat, go ahead and stand. This will limit their force production, so biggest thing, you wanna make sure that that athlete keeps their weight balanced in the midfoot as they descend into their squat and driving through the heels to stand up nice and tall. Beautiful. Another common mistake is that hyper and hyperlordotic posture. So if you want to give me, yep, that extra extension of the spine, and then that hypolordotic, that rounded spine. Nice. Well, not nice. But from there, you essentially want to make sure that your athlete has a long, neutral spine with a big chest and the core nice and tight. And that is the back squat.